what's going on guys welcome back to the channel for another elantra and video man and today man today we're gonna be talking about all the things that i love about this car man so this is a 2024 elantra n you know facelifted and first would literally be the design so the design of the car right the the styling the details you know all around this car is perfect literally you got the n um badge right here you got the black towel um hyundai badge literally everything is nice on this car got the and performance brakes the wheels these are forged wheels 19 inches with the center and center caps perfect man you got the black um mirror caps all the blacked out trim boom even the back can look good like come on bro look at it oh <laughs> look at it sir. got the little wing we're gonna fix that the wing look all right for now but we're gonna fix that man i feel like it's too small for the car we're gonna we're gonna put a bigger wing on this thing so yeah so the styling is literally nice man even the interior styling is pretty good go ahead and open the door boom looks pretty clean everything the steering wheel the seats everything look pretty clean yo i love these seats man look at these seats come on man look at the <laughs> bucket seats man bucket seats with the light up and on the it, yo, with the stitching and everything so yeah the styling is pretty great even the back seat so let me go ahead and show you all the back seats you know we're gonna cover everything show you the back seats so the back seats is um alcantara and stitch too with um and leather alcantara leather stitch and everything so yeah this car is pretty good on styling it's a good looking car so that would be that would be the, you know the number one thing that i really love about this car so the second will be let's say um the leg room that's the that's the next thing that i actually like because as a six four dude you know i got a lot of room in this car there's a lot of room that my seat is not fully back so so there's a lot of room in this car man even for the front passenger you know me and the back whoever whoever's sitting in the back there's a good amount of room like boom so yeah, there's a lot of room in this car. Let's go check out the trunk. Check out the trunk. Uh, boom, a decent sized trunk. You know, it's not it's not small, it's not huge, but it's you know, it's decent. There's a lot of room in there. All right, so yeah, the leg room or the room in this car will be the you know, the second thing I really love. All right, man, let's just let's just move on to the next stuff, you know. And the next thing will be the handling. This car handles perfect. It handles, it handles really good for a four door sedan, man. That's what I'm gonna say. Handles pretty good. The steering wheel, the feel, everything. The suspension handles perfect. All right. All right. So the next thing will be the exhaust. Y'all already know. You already know what's up with the N exhaust, man. <laughs> Let's go ahead a little, you know, let, let me give you a little clip. <laughs> I'll leave the door open, put it on, and, all right. Ooh. Yeah, so let's not make too much noise, bro. But, <laughs> y'all see, man, the exhaust sounds pretty good for a four cylinder. So the exhaust sounds pretty good for a four cylinder. And um, yeah, I love that exhaust. It's actually a three inch um, tip. It's pretty big, boom. So yeah, that'll be the next thing. Then we can go ahead and talk about the personality of this car, man. This car has, basically has two personalities, man. We can be quiet, like I'm on end mode right now, right? We can, when we, when you want to drive normal, like you got a normal car, you know, you got a chill car, put that thing on, boom, echo mode, or normal mode and you're chilling. The exhaust is going to be quieter, 
but see right now it's, it's a little quieter right now because i put it on normal mode so yeah i love the fact that i can you know i can wake up in the morning and just have a normal drive no noise whatsoever and then when i want to pump it up <laughs> put that thing on end mode or sport you feel me so i really like that i really like that um the option because when i had my 86 <laughs> it was always noise all the time you know so that, that's a good option to have and all right so the next thing will be the performance all right the, the performance you get a turbocharged four cylinder you know pushing out 286 i'm guessing if you got the you know dct pushing out 286 so that's pretty good for a 30 a 30k car you know 34 30 you know 30 how do they say 34 I would say 35 and 37. You know, that's the total price you would pay when you actually buy that car. So yeah. So that's a that's a pretty good deal to me. And yeah, man. So we went over the personality of the car. And the next thing I'll say is the gas mileage. The gas mileage is not bad. It's actually pretty good. It's a four cylinder, so it's pretty good. For a sports car though. For a sports car, it's pretty good. So Usually I'll get 22 to 24 in the city, you know, driving regularly and then 30 or over 30 on the highway. So that's not bad at all. All right. So, yeah, man. And let's talk about the infotainment. It's pretty, it's pretty um, clean infotainment right here. It's pretty clean infotainment. <sighs> you know, got the little screen right here, which you can change. You can change, you know, my door is open. Hold on, let me close it so you can see the full thing. Okay, boom. All right, so yeah, you can change these when you change the modes. So I got my um, regular mode set up right here on that end button, sport, echo normal, and then you got the end, boom. Pretty, pretty clean. And then when you tap, hold, press, you know, whatever, and then you can go to custom one. That's, that's how I have it set up. You know so yeah it's pretty clean infotainment that's your end screen right here you can have all your little info you know everything in here your all your custom stuff for my um custom one mode i can you know customize everything here change everything i want i want them to see right here now you can see that's your little climate you got a, a little ambient lighting strip going around so it's a pretty nice setup and the um what do you call it? The speakers, the sound system is Bose. So it's not bad at all, as y'all can see. It's Bose sound system sounds pretty good. So yeah. Yeah, man, um, this car is pretty clean. You got all the can tell on the door. It's pretty clean, pretty clean. Yeah, the tech is pretty clean. You got the, um, there's, um, this car has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So, you know, you got everything that you need, navigation, when you go to map, you got um, basically a uh, stock navigation on this car, you know? Yeah, you got your navigation. You, you don't know how many times I've used this, man. I'm telling you, this is, this is, I feel like this, this car kind of thrilled me, man. Whatever car I'm buying next, man, I need navigation in it, bro. Because you never know. You might be somewhere where you can't use your phone, bro. <laughs> so, yeah, so navigation stock on, on this car. I don't use the radio, so that don't matter. Got your navigation, got your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and yeah, it's pretty clean. Shifter, boom, you know, it's pretty clean. Yeah, man. So yeah, I love this car, and I can't wait to start modding the hell out of this car. Let's get out of here. Ah. But yeah, let's go ahead and close this, and. A lot of people don't know this. There's a light that comes out of um, this handle right here. Both of the handles, the driver and the passenger at night. Yeah, so, because the car is on, it's probably not. Is it gonna? Nah, it's not gonna work. Yeah, it, I, yeah, I don't think it works when the car is already on, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see, let me see. It might not be dark enough for that. Hold on, let me see. If I approach it, if it's gonna turn on. Nah, I think it only works when you um, what do you call it? When it's 
the window car is off and you're walking towards the car so the light just turn on so yeah man this car is a pretty nice car for the price i think we pretty much went over everything we went over the handling we went over the leg room the gas mileage the personality of this car the design the performance the exhaust which i love and the tech so yeah we pretty much covered everything in this car i love it and y'all stay tuned miles are coming soon actually i got miles coming tomorrow so stay tuned all right <laughs> we're getting we're getting an install done i'm not doing it because i ain't got space to do that but all the time so yeah i'm gonna uh, go to a shop i usually use i use for my 86 you know all the time to do mods on, on my 86 so i'm gonna go to that shop and i'm gonna get something installed y'all yeah, find out when i when i post the video man stay tuned all right so it's something that's something i'm gonna give you a little hint so that something has to do with suspension all right that's what i'm gonna say yeah yeah just stay tuned and find out what i did all right all right man yo make sure to subscribe man like comment talk to me in the comments man and um yeah share the video man 